Today we're going to talk about the Kapow County Monitor this week. This is uh, Wednesday, February the 2nd, 2022. We're going to go over some headlines of the Kapow County Monitor. James Ray Taylor is here with us today, and we're going to talk about the headlines. Uh, James Ray, earlier you talked about the uh, scams. Something seems too good to be true, it probably is. According to Crystal Springs Police Chief Tony Hemphill, scam activity in the area seems to be picking up, especially ones that target the elderly. Hemphill said there is an ongoing investigation now, but did not go into specifics. Instead, he cautions everyone to be aware of calls or other contacts that could be scams. Specifically, he says, if someone tells you you won something, but they want you to pay money to collect the award, be very suspicious. So we should be suspicious when somebody tells us we won something? Yeah, if they want you to send them money. Because it may be a scam? That. That's exactly right. Well, we need to be aware of scams. Exactly, yes. Okay. The scams are the root of the problem here. I see. Thank you for coming in, James. Right? Sure, anytime you have a problem with scams, don't hesitate to call. How about that road uh, being out there, the picture on the front page yeah, of the Kapow uh, County that's Monitor? A, that's another headline we have here. Martinsville Road Bridge completion delayed by weather. Hmm. And it's been reworked and it's now open to limited traffic. Uh, the bridge, originally constructed on wooden pylons, now sits on a steel structure and has had a span added to stop a problem with one end of the bridge washing out periodically over the years. Uh, you know, roads uh, and repair of roads is a big thing in Kapai County, James Ray. When you were growing up, how do you recall the roads uh, where you lived and, and things like trying to get to school every morning with a school bus? Were the roads in good shape then? No, we, I lived on, at that time it's not now, but it was a gravel road. Our road was gravel. And that was west of Hazelhurst. Right out off Dentville Road. Mm-hmm. At the time it was called Old Gallatin Road. Now it's Old Natchez Road. Mm-hmm. And uh, I had to walk approximately a quarter of a mile to catch the school bus. Wow. And the reason... I was the only child on that entire road, and mm-hmm. uh, and uh, mom and daddy met with the school board, but they would not allow a bus to come down there because there was just one child. Mm-hmm. They wouldn't. And drill. you walked a quarter of a mile. Yeah, that's right. Sometimes in the snow. Well, if the weather was bad, I, mom and daddy, I rode with them to their work. It mm-hmm. worked there in town, mm-hmm. and I would. They would drop me off at school sometimes at ten minutes to seven. I didn't mm-hmm. sit there because they had to be at work at seven. Mm-hmm. So I had. To, you when, sit at the school that long? Yeah. Yeah. So it's when in Clement. Did they let you in? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, you, I could go in. Yeah, but, so you didn't get cold. You, no, no, nothing yeah. like that, no. Yeah. What'd you do all that time waiting for everybody else? What, just, did you walk up down the hall? Yeah, I mean, just sit there and wait. Did you yeah. ever go in and play on the board, you know, write things on the blackboard? No, I wasn't allowed to write on the board hmm. before class. They, they wouldn't allow that. Yeah, well. At least you were out of the weather, the yeah, elements that's the main of the weather. Thing, yeah. Now, that would have been around what year? Around 64? You're right, yeah, along in that area. Yeah. yeah, that was a long time ago. Yeah. yeah. At least you made it out. And you graduated from Hazelhurst High School, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, 1970. 1970. Yeah. Yeah, May. A very, 19, May the 20th. A very good year. Sure was. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. Did you enjoy your uh, time at Hazelhurst? Oh, very much so. That was a good time. Good teachers, good people. Absolutely. And one thing about this monitor and it, uh, the former meteor, the monitor, of course, is a combination of the meteor and the Kapow County Courier, right? Exactly. And, and they combine to uh, to call it the monitor. Right. Yeah. But uh, one writer uh, that does a weekly here that I, I've always thought a lot of and admired, that's Aretha Mayfield. Do you know her? Very much so. Yeah. yeah. She's a good she, writer. She was a, you know, her maiden name was McAlpin. She's steady. Uh, writes a terrific article in there. She's uh, she's she's one of the better ones. It's uh, you know she's going to be there every week. She puts a lot of work in, in uh, into what she does. I mean, she writes a complete sermon yeah. there. And so very let's give good. Uh, Aretha some credit where yeah, credit absolutely. is due here absolutely. in Galvin, Mississippi. And uh, Galvin's blessed to have a, a citizen. Oh, the like paper's her. blessed to have people like Aretha. And I, sure. I used to work with her husband, uh, Ronnie Mayfield. Right. He was an executive of Sanderson Farms. Preston Johnson here, I see he's been recognized. Oh, yeah. 
He had a good year. Had a good year baseball. You know, it won't be long before they start throwing that little ball around. That's James exactly Ray. right. Now, I know and you're a big baseball fan. Who you, who you think is going to win it all in the SEC this year? Uh, it's, it's, I think it's going to be between Mississippi State and Ole Miss. And Ole Miss going to have Ole Miss a got a good team this yeah, year. Yeah, everybody's looking for a big thing from Ole Miss. Well, with, this year. with Preston's pitching and uh, Ole Miss's hitting yeah. and uh, base stealing ability, it's it's going to be a good year, I think, for Mississippi yeah, in baseball. I think so too. Yeah. And uh, you know, Mississippi and, and Kapai County in general has got some good baseball connections. And, sure. Uh, we, I know you like to follow that. Uh, do you pay for that extra on your uh, uh, for baseball your package? Yeah. No, I don't. I do you not. Don't. No. How about football? Yeah, I, I, I like yeah. football. I would like to watch football. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about the portal? Yeah, I tell you what, Ole Miss has really been offending from that right now. They they have picked up a lot of. They're more concerned about picking up from the portal than they are uh, signing. Uh, whatever. What do you call those things where you can sell your likeness? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, you got professional athletes now, play, first year of college, getting oh, yeah. paid. Yeah, making mega bucks. How do you recruit against that? That's right. You know, that's that's hurting your small. Why schools. not just go to a school where you'll get the most publicity and well, make money off of it? You know, that hurts your small schools like Southern Miss as far as Forget recruiting. Forget winning anymore. It, that's it, right. It's how how can I better my career? Exactly. Yeah. And it all comes back to these schools making so much money off these players, James Ray. That's right. You agree with that? Oh, I agree. Years ago, I said when I was in, in the fourth grade, I said yeah. that players ought to be paid. Yeah. If they're going to get out there and perform, mm -hmm. and jump up, down, and these people are going to pay these coaches $12 million a year, shouldn't the player get a little piece of that? Certainly. Yeah. Well, they're fixing to get it right now. Mm -hmm. Now, it's going to kill the sport as we know it. That's the thing. But it's a sad day in uh, mm -hmm. college football That's history, right. I guess. But as all things come to a close, so we'll end this segment of the James Ray and Steve show, and we want to thank everybody for tuning in today. Now, who was our sponsor today, James Ray? Uh, Chevrolet. Chevrolet. Yeah. They're all new car. They got the Chevrolet Vega. Mm -hmm. they really looking for How about that SS396? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a good yeah. one. Yeah. That's right. See the USA? In a Chevrolet. Ding, 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 ding. That's right. I love that. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, everybody, for joining in, and uh, we'll see you next week, same time, same place. Steve James Ray.